In today's video, we take a look at a man who refused to pay child support for a kid that is not his, and this father who absolutely broke down into tears after discovering his wife cheated on him, and he is not the father of his kid. Mr. Rasmussen, you are not the father. Yeah! Miss Miller. I'm sorry. Yes. That's a lot of nerve considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve. You just showed me where your priorities were right there. Because I held out hope that you weren't just acting a fool because you so mad at him because he cheated on you that you would cheat your child out of a father. But that cheering you did, what you cheering? I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. What you cheering for? I'm not. No, you were. He is over here breaking down because he loves this child so much. I sit in here day after day after day with women hoping a man would drive 16 miles to see their baby, much less 160 miles each way and abide by a court order and sign a birth certificate and come day after day and week after week so they can grow visitation to have a relationship with a child. And you have no compassion for not just him, but for Zaylee. She's three years old. Now, he's not just gonna be heartbroken. We gotta break this news to her. And y'all over here cheering like it's a sport. This is this baby's life. And I ask you, where's this other man? I don't know. And you know he don't want nothing to do with you. Sitting up there cheering. Him cheating on her was wrong, but what she is doing in return to him is absolutely horrific. Not only has she cheated on him, but as the judge said, she also cheated her daughter out of a father figure. Cause she does not know her biological father and the father which she knows. She has got nothing to do with him. And in true fairness, she does not deserve him or that kid as this guy does not deserve to pay child support wild and unbelievable stories here in Detroit. This is one of them. This is one of them. Imagine being told to pay child support for a kid that is not yours or go to jail. That was the order the state handed down to a Detroit man. So today he turned himself in, but here's what happened when 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell went with him to court. Carnell Alexander walked into the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice knowing in moments he could lose his freedom. I stayed up all night, couldn't sleep, thinking about it. Carnell is a wanted man because he refuses to do what the state orders and to pay child support for a child that DNA tests prove isn't his, a child he doesn't even know. I haven't even had a chance to really speak to him except for one time when we took the DNA test. Nonetheless, right now, under the law, he's a deadbeat dad. Today, he turned himself into the judge's ordered. Scared because I've been before this judge before. But this time, he had attorney Cherica Harris, who volunteered to help after seeing his story on 7 Action News. The judge said he will not go to jail for today. Thank you. Thank Ms. Harris. I hope that we can resolve this soon. I'm just trying to help him with his future. Though the threat of jail is on hold, it is not over. Carnell Alexander still owes more than $30,000 to the state for a child that's not his because the mom wrote his name down because she needed to name someone in order to get welfare benefits. And I had to put him down as the father. That was the only way I can get the system. How evil is she in this court system that they are punishing a man for something he did not do and something he should not do? Because the real culprit is the woman who admits to use his name for welfare benefits and does not even bother to think what would happen to him. I signed our final divorce papers last week and I just got notified today that the lawyer sent the papers to court today to be signed by the judge. Everybody keeps thinking that I'm handling this divorce so well and I'm not, I'm not okay. Next week would have been our nine year anniversary and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. I didn't want this. I never wanted this. And it hurts and it sucks and I... Okay. I know that I'm gonna be okay. But right now it really sucks. And I feel like I can't breathe. So, 
for those of you who are going through the same thing and have been watching me and telling me that you wish that you had my strength because you're not handling your divorce or your breakup well. Just know I'm right there with you. I'm not okay either. But I promise you, someday, someday, we're gonna be okay. Just not today. Yeah, you are never going to be okay. And any woman who makes their life's decisions based on their emotions like you just did would never be okay. Now you are just damaged goods. Other men would use you for sex and give you false promises of a relationship and after some time block you. So you better get ready for that. Chorus and then complaining that they're not getting enough of the man's money. And you're like looking at her like you dingbat. First of all, nobody wants you out here on the dating market. I hate to break it to you. Like what? What? Like you got you FOMO at 50 and you got kids like don't nobody want you. Then on the other side, it's like you would have had more money if you stayed with him. OK, OK, <laughs> if you file for divorce and you don't get a payout, the only people that are going to be advocating for you and being like, no, you need to take him, sis, get him for everything. Like those are some toxic women. Like, probably narcissistic women. Yep, those are some very toxic and narcissistic women who expect everything from a man and don't have shit to offer in return, just like this woman here. In the past year of my life, on again, off again, with a man I very much hoped and thought was going to end up being my husband, I've decided that I am officially ready to settle. But not for him. I'm settling on the idea that I'm going to die alone because I have essentially tried everything with you men and I just can't win. Okay. I have tried dating different types. I've tried dating outside of my tax bracket, whether it be dating up or dating down. I've dated for love. I've dated for money. I've tried lowering my standards, my expectations. I've tried being submissive and absolutely none of it works. None of you men know what you want from women. You don't know what you want from women. Like women don't know what we want for dinner. And I am not a shapeshifter or a skin walker. Okay. I can't just change my form on your fucking emotional whim so i am just officially done i don't care i have settled on the fact that i am going to die alone not only am i going to die alone i'm going to die alone and rich probably plastic as fuck with some pool boy hand feeding me plantains between spouts of him taking a battering ram to my poon shop that's going to require absorbent amounts of lube because i imagine within the next 10 years this baked potato is drying up but contrary i am okay with dying alone so you guys can no longer use this as an insult in my comments you're going to die alone great fantastic sounds like a plan where do i sign up